And joining us on set is Evan Bernstein, who's the New York Regional Director of the Anti-Defamation League. Um, as Shana pointed out, your office in Manhattan received a, a bomb threat today. Yeah, we, we unfortunately, right around uh, 10 o'clock in the morning, received a bomb threat uh, along with uh, other offices in Boston, uh, Washington, D.C., and Atlanta. And uh, it, was a, it was a rough day for a lot of staff at the ADL and, and also for... Uh, you know, five day schools and six JCCs around the country. So it's, it's a very difficult time. Your office has gotten these threats before. Were there any similarities as far as you know? Not as far as I know. We know the one thing we do know, they've all been phone, phone threats today uh, for the ones for the ADL offices. And uh, again, it, they, thank God they were, not, they were not credible threats, but it still disrupted our staff, uh, put a lot of fear into some people. Uh, some people self evacuated, some people stayed. Uh, but it's something that, you know, we. We're not going to let it prevent us from, from doing what we do, which is, which is trying to prevent hate across the country every day. As Shana pointed out, more than 130 threats in total since the beginning of the year. Did anybody, ADL, anybody else, see any of this coming, any of the warning signs last fall, anything? You know, I think we, we definitely saw, you know, a change in, in, in kind of, I guess, language around the campaign. We, we started seeing more and more. We, we, no one predicted, I think, that this kind of thing would happen with the JCCs and this number of threats and, and how it would spread from JCCs to day schools and now to, uh, to Jewish institutions. I, I think it's, it, it's really new uncharted territory, I think, for the Jewish community. Investigators suggest that there's a possibility that this may be coming from overseas, that uh, obviously this person was arrested in Missouri, was some, right. something of a copycat, but that the main threat may be coming from people overseas who are trying to cause trouble. Does that make any sense to you? I think there's a lot of possibilities. I think we're waiting right now for more information from law enforcement. We want to uh, see more from the FBI and from local law enforcement. We know we're, they're doing everything they possibly can. Uh, Jonathan Greenblatt, our CEO, along with other Jewish leaders, met with uh, FBI Director Comey on Friday. Uh, you know, a lot of good uh, outcomes and conversations were there. But I think now it's about you know really getting that information, allowing the FBI to do their job, uh, and getting the resources to the FBI and other agencies so they can uh, do this investigation at the highest level possible. What did FBI Comey, FBI Director Comey, say during that meeting last week? I, I think that he's going to do everything that they possibly can as an agency to to try to prevent this from happening and try to solve the ones that have already taken place. And I think uh, and now it's about uh, really trying to get law enforcement as much funding as possible. You know, we saw that uh, with Governor Cuomo putting $25 million towards helping law enforcement here in the state of New York. We think that there needs to be that kind of same uh, a commitment from the federal government. Uh, we need to see, you know, more involvement with the attorney general, maybe with the task force. We need to see you know, a full civil rights investigation that's fully funded. We want to see more of law enforcement, uh, you know, doing better job of, of, of you know, reporting hate crimes when they happen and getting their people more involved in that process. There's a lot that can be done here. Are we making mistake in the media by drawing attention to this? Because somebody out there may be getting some sort of satisfaction or joy that they call in a bomb threat and voila, it shows up in the media every time. It, it, you know, that's a, it is possible to think that way. I think it's also important that communities that are being affected have a voice. Uh, you know, the ADL tries to be that voice. I think when media, uh, even local media, you know, responds to these things, again, it's giving a voice to that community that's hurting and in pain. And I think that's, there's, there's something very cathartic about that, and that's very important. Evan Bernstein is the New York Regional Director of the Anti-Defamation League. Evan, thanks for being on with us. We appreciate it. My pleasure. Thank you.